And everybody know why we're here, sort of? No. Yeah. No. Okay, good. So, we're, um, basically, so we've been kind of, um, so the school's been growing. Yes, we are looking for space. Um, we are hopefully close on a new new space. Like, we're, hopefully, I'm not, I can't guarantee anything. So, we're, we've been, like, fighting with landlords and trying to figure out things. And it's always, it's always a battle um, trying to find a new space, especially as one as big as that we want to go into. So, there's, like, parking and all this kind of stuff. But, anyway, so we're almost... Hopefully at the end, if not, then we're starting all over again. So um, we uh, have been growing. TA program's been going great. Annie's been doing a great job. Rabbit also helping to get that this time around. Um, so we have like something like 80 or 90 TAs right now. Um, so part of it is like great. It's going really well. Part of it is like great. We need to find something for them more to do than just TA, especially the senior TAs because they've been around a while and we want them to go out. So now it's like, okay, we're at the point where it's like, you guys, Orange or Red Claw students, you've been around here long enough. It's time to go like do stuff outside, like Audrey's been doing. So we figured like, what is it that is keeping people from doing these things? Um, and it could just be like misconceptions, I think. It could be like, oh, it's going to take up so much time. Oh, it's going to be difficult. Oh, it's going to be blah, 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 blah. And we're here to sort of discuss like how Audrey started her thing and then how it's actually not that difficult to start something on your own. Like you can, it's all about just what I do is just talk to people randomly. And that's how we end up with doing a lot of the things that we end up doing is I just start talking to people randomly about things and people tend to start nodding their head and things start happening after that, right? So that's a lot of what we do. That's a lot of what I want you guys to do. So let's go into, first we'll talk about the, um, what she's been doing. Yes? Okay. Hi everyone. So thank you for coming. Uh, I had a similar-ish talk, uh, I think in May, last May, and I'll be repeating a few of the things I said in that meeting, but I'll also be adding some new stuff. So I'm Audrey. You guys probably already know me. I'm the director of the Hoeing Art Foundation. I'm a junior at Monta Vista and I'm also an aspiring crazy cat lady. <laughs> and you're also the um, 2018 Emerging 15 Emerging Artist Award winner. Wow. <laughs> 750 bucks. <laughs> yes, I think the people on the committee were just crazy cat ladies or Maybe. crazy cat people. Well, so they, I guess they that's actually <laughs> they actually called us and told us that it was not just I mean the art awesome of course, but everybody like in that level so she's competing against um everybody from 14 year olds all the way to 35 year olds so emerging artists is like you know like the swath of humanity who's not old yet okay? <laughs> like me okay so um the, the distinguished artist is the 36 and up the um let's say more experienced artists are the distinguished artists award so um so she's competing against like everybody basically um who's under uh, 35 and under and they said it was not only the artwork but it's just like all the stuff that she does like community stuff um, sunny video Myanmar all the stuff so it's like kind of a finally like oh validation <laughs> <laughs> okay Hi, come on. have a seat oh dad come yeah sure if he wants tell your dad he'd come in if he wants he didn't have to but he'd be great if he wants to stay yeah okay so <laughs> <laughs> You, you can come in if you'd like to stay and listen, um, but it's optional. Oh, okay. Your parents are welcome to come okay. in. Yeah. Um, sit, 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 sit next to the screen. Okay. Yeah, so anyway, go ahead. <laughs> So as you guys might know, um, I currently work. Uh, I currently run bi-weekly art workshops at Sunnyview Retirement Center, where I take a group of TAs and we teach the senior citizens how to make arts and crafts, and they really like it. And I started this the fall of my sophomore year, which was one year ago. Yeah, last year. I started this last year. Um, I proposed my idea to Hoeing and Tommy and they gave me support so then I reached out to Sunnyview. So with Sunnyview, I've already volunteered there as a musician since I was in 7th grade, which was a while back. So they already kind of knew me and I remember that when I went to their orientation, they told me that a really long time ago someone ran art workshops or art classes there, but that person graduated and since then no one's done anything. No one done that um, at Sunnyview so I was like hey I can do this so I reached out to their volunteer coordinator um, 
Yeah, I reached out to the volunteer coordinator. I um, like I told her all the logistic information, like what I'm gonna do there, um, how much time I'm gonna take up there, like adult supervision. Like I told them that my mom would come over to help me um, run these workshops because they do require adult supervision. I told them how this will benefit their senior citizens by bringing them out to the community <coughs> and like and how art is therapeutic and will help them. So then she agreed and then we got it started. So the hardest thing about this for me was just the initial step of getting <coughs> everything set up and running. Because on the first day, um, no one showed up. So my mom and I had to, uh, we just like, so my mom and I just um, pulled in random people um, who were walking around. Nicely. Yes, gently yes. and nicely and respectfully. <laughs> yes. And we asked them if they would like to participate in an art workshop. And a lot of them were super reluctant, but they ended up still um, coming because I guess they're nice people and they ended up enjoying it a lot. And then after that, more um, gradually more and more people came. So that got better. And another thing we, I realized was that most of the people there did not speak English. Most of them only spoke Chinese. And thankfully, my Chinese is still somewhat functional. So, um, yeah, so that wasn't too much of an issue, but sometimes I s still struggled. And that was also not the not ideal because not all of our TAs speak English. I mean, sorry, not all of our TAs speak Chinese. <laughs> Sorry, I meant the, not all of our TA spoke Chinese, so they had to communicate through nonverbal ways, and it did work out, but it wasn't ideal. And then another thing was project design. Like sometimes our projects would be too difficult, and they would actually get frustrated, and it was not fun seeing them frustrated. And currently, I'm trying to expand this uh, program from biweekly to weekly, and I've been experiencing a lot of difficulty with that because communication with the volunteer coordinator hasn't always gone super smoothly because sometimes she would be out for business trips and she would respond in a week. So then that made a lot of things more difficult. And I eventually did get Sunday, uh, I eventually did add the second um, the two additional workshops a week, but then I realized the time they gave me was from 2 to 3 p.m. and that's when they nap. So then no <laughs> one came. And then, so I just, I recently just got them to change the time from 3 to 4. But then, um, so I went to tell one of the, uh, one of our regular attendees, and then she told me that they think the, um, too, they think that weekly workshops might be too much for them and I'm like now you tell me but I guess <laughs> yeah but I guess I have to keep adapting to this and right now I'm thinking either um, expanding um, this to other retirement centers or they ha um, Sunnyview actually has two separate like facilities okay. the one I'm currently at like most of the people um, are living independently. And there's this other facility where most of people require uh, assistance, like assisted living. And I'm seeing if I could expand it there. But that has also been difficult because of how laggy communication is with the volunteer coordinator. Um, so here are some projects we've done to give you an idea of what we do. And running these art workshops hasn't been a huge time commitment to me. Usually, like the bulk of the time commitment is making the flyers and sending them out and writing emails and making sure that they get sent out. So I would estimate that's about one to two hours a week. Uh, one to two hours plus the actual workshop itself, which is an hour and a half. So that's about, that's no, that's usually less than three hours a week on the weeks we have workshops. So we're here because you guys are amazing TAs and you guys are amazing art students. So we want you to go out and do stuff with the world. So um, start with starting your own program. Um, 
You might find it helpful to gain experience with joining an existing program first to see how things are ran. But uh, you guys, I'm pretty sure you guys already have a lot of experience with running, um, with going out in the community and doing stuff. And um, yeah, and then making a team would be really helpful because in setting up a program like Sunnyview, um, there's a lot of logistics that you have to take care of, like communicating with the volunteer coordinator, making sure that you have all the project ma uh, materials. So it would be really helpful to get have a group of people to coordinate with. And then come up with an idea, like think about what you want to, how you want to contribute to your community. Like it doesn't have to be with art and work, uh, art and crafts workshops. If you're a musician, you can also start a music program. And then find a venue. So um, I think retirement centers, um, I, per I personally feel like retirement centers is a good choice because they have a bunch of senior citizens who need to do stuff. <laughs> You, have a, you basically have a waiting customer pool. Yes, yeah. but other possible <laughs> venues include special needs centers or hospitals. And then um, after you've got it, you've got all that done, write a proposal and I'll talk about that more later. And hopefully they say yes. If not, that's okay. Just keep looking and then get to work. Yes. So with writing a proposal, not that type of proposal, <laughs> so you want to say who you are. You can talk about your past experiences working um, with your community so they know that you are credible and they know that you get stuff done so that they're more likely to want to work with you. And that you want to also, um, you also want to make it sound like you know what you're doing. So with that, you should outline what types of projects you will um, do and where you'll get your materials and such. And also outline um, the time frame. Yeah, suggest the time frame, your target audience, how this will benefit your target audience, like senior citizens doing crafts. That's a, that's good for them because they should move their they need to move their hands to maintain their mobility and. Because we are children, we need adult supervision, at least for the retirement center. <laughs> yeah, at least retirement centers want to make sure that uh, minors have adult supervision. And yeah, and also just addressing general safety concerns is a good idea. Yeah, basically you want to like show that you put some thought into it and that the, the, end, the end result is you want them to say like, oh, you've thought of everything, great, uh, sure, let's do it, right? Not like, well, what about this, what about that? Because then it becomes like, you know, like you may not have thought it all the way through yet. So you should do your homework. Yes. <laughs> so as I mentioned, with what you guys can do, uh, it's not limited to just arts and crafts, even though I know you guys are all amazing artists. Um, so I found, my mom actually found this link um, of all the events this part this one um, retirement center has planned out for the month of November and you can, um, oh wait, it's not showing, yikes, anyways, the, we should, yeah, we'll send out the presentation so there will be the link, but anyways, you guys can take a look at that link to the uh, retirement center's calendar to for more ideas on what you guys can do. Really interesting one is, are you smarter than a fifth grader? And I feel like that's a pretty interesting idea that you guys might want to pursue. Around here, I'm definitely not smarter than a fifth grader. <laughs> <laughs> and one interesting thing that already exists at Sunnyview is this life bio program where um, where you sit down with a senior citizen and you have them tell their life story and then you write it out and you write pretty much a biography of their life. Oh, that's cool. Yeah, and I think that's a pretty interesting idea that... Ooh, or a film project. Yes. Ooh. Or you guys can... Um, or you guys can talk with them, have them tell their life story to you and maybe you guys can draw a picture of their life. Since film you guys project, are artists. Draw a picture and that would be great for... AP Studio Art or Color Portfolio. Yes. Ooh. Thoughts. Also, interesting guys. stories. 
to Which write in your yeah. college apps. Yeah. Like, like, no, but then you get to learn like this person's history, like how they got here and you know everything they've been yeah. through. Especially like seniors now, they probably lived through the depression. Mm -hmm. or maybe they were born around then. Um, they lived through like World War Two, right? Like Vietnam War. They lived through like a bunch of major events they learned about. Yeah, this is the creation of the They lived through like yeah, how yeah, they lived before this was around, yeah. Just, yeah. <laughs> which you guys don't understand at all. <laughs> You're like, what do you mean? I don't have the entire world knowledge in my hand. Um, yeah. So that's uh, yeah. So that's a yeah. That would be really cool if you guys that would be really cool. I think that's do that. Really cool. Yeah. yeah. That's really cool. Yeah. Oh yeah, the yeah yeah, yeah. Like the Cupertino Courier. Maybe a school publications. Yeah, mm -hmm. yeah. You can get it, like push. You can get push it out to different um, venues, so people you can share their stories with the community. Like these are the people in your community. That's kind of cool. Very nice. I like that. Very cool. Multimedia too. Yeah. <laughs> And here's a list of <laughs> uh, retirement centers and assisting living facilities okay. around this area that you guys can uh, reach out to. Mm -hmm. And Hongyi Art will offer you support for your project because you guys are amazing people and we want you to succeed. So yeah, we'll help you with guidance, recruiting, to get like Rango together, a team of TAs to help you um, to help you with your project. Uh, we can also help you contact venues, but I think you guys are capable of doing that. I think yourself. that's a good experience for you guys. Yeah. Like, we'll help, like, we'll help like, review, like, you know, like, first contact emails and that kind of thing, or, like, the game plan. But I want you guys to go do that, because it's a good experience. And, it, and it's good for, like, the person there um, to meet you first, um, because they'll you're the ones who will be interacting with them all the time. So um, it's like if somebody comes here looking for a job, if it's like the person comes looking for a job, great. If it's like their mom walks in and they ask me, hey, can you give my kid a job? I'm like, no, that's kind of ridiculous. Please go away. So um, yeah, it's better if you like be independent and just go out and talk to people. It's totally fine. I mean, they, the worst thing they, they can say is what? No. No, right, and then you ask why. Like, what can I do to make this better next time? If I can come back to you in a week with like some updated plans, like you, you always have a comeback, or you always have a thing to like, well, how do I get you to say yes? Like, yeah, it's fine. Yeah, and a similar thing with marketing, that will also be a great um, opportunity. That's also a good thing that you guys can do. Like, um, practice your graphic design skills by making sure. flyers. <laughs> And Hoying Art can also supply uh, materials and let you borrow things like scissors. Yeah, like you got lots of everything. So yes. Can use it all for, for doing things. Okay. Every time I have a Sunny View workshop, I w <laughs> might drop by on Friday night yeah, like, and yeah. ask, can I use your scissors? <laughs> sure. And Tommy will say, sure. sure. And I will get my scissors. <laughs> yeah. Whatever else you need. Like, there's all this stuff people need for doing things. Um, what else you got? And I think that's about it. Yeah. yeah. Any questions? Thoughts? Does your mom still your adult supervision? Yeah. <laughs> Anything mom wants to add? Yeah, I'll add this one. Oh, okay, okay. okay. <laughs> yeah. uh, in terms of venues, and uh, I, uh, if you type in like a senior center, living centers, uh, retirement homes near me, and we bring up uh, quite a few choices. Uh, those are some of them that come out with the uh, search. And the first one is actually, I think it's near library, somewhere near library. There's one um, called Chateau Cupertino. That's yeah. yeah that's <laughs> so oh yeah, right now, that's right next to, like it's like a half a block from the library. Mm -hmm. Yeah, it looks yeah. like a quite upscale and uh, yeah, nice. the seniors are quite mobile over there yeah. and uh, yeah. you, you, uh, by contacting them you can write, sure. yeah, sometimes you can just stop by and yeah, ask uh, what by. kind of person I can talk to and um, ask for some contact information, ask some basic information. Sometimes it's faster that <laughs> you show up in person right. and yeah. ask. And you don't have to have like a thing prepared and like where you're like best suited. And, you know, you're just no. like you're just going by someplace and you're like, oh, I remember, I want to talk to these people about something. Fine, just like, hey, I want to talk to like a volunteer coordinator about something. You know, I'm sure like they're probably running out busy, but 
maybe you'll get lucky. Or they'll mm -hmm. be like, oh, there's a, yeah, you can call them at this number or something. And it's, there's always ways. Um, key thing is persistence, of course. As you can tell, Audrey is very persistent. Um, she's always like, um, I call her the freight train. <laughs> you point her at something and she just figures it out. Um, so that's that's the way that I want everybody to kind of think of things. It's like if you want to get something done, just be a freight train. It's like if somebody says no, then tell, ask him why. Um, be respectful, but let's say why or how can I, you know, how can I make this better? Like give me feedback. Like they they want people, you know, they like they see you as like a kid, but they they you know like if you're like hey I I want to help this kid or I want to help them get there so I think everybody is willing to give you a break um, so just ask him why and you know usually you'll get something helpful right usually and then um, and if they're really just a dead end then great go on to the next person it's not a big deal right um, so I want to couch this with it doesn't have to be like art projects retirement center type things it doesn't it doesn't have to do that at all okay um, like I, I came up with, I saw this article about reading to dogs and I, yes. <laughs> and I was like, Chloe, Emily, and uh, Charlotte, can you guys help figure this out? So I will, if I come up with ideas and I like, I'll point it at somebody and say like, help figure this out please. Cause, um, I don't have the time to do all this stuff. I help, I can like give you the, the beginning and then set you running. Right. Um, and that way you guys can go do the first contact. You can you know, bump into the walls and help like get the start going. The start will probably be the hardest part, honestly, mm -hmm. right? Like once it's going, it's kind of like a flywheel. It's like a weighted thing that just comes around and it goes. And it's, it's you know, like our school, right? It's like, I don't even know what goes on here at the time, but <laughs> the beginning was the hardest part and now it just runs. Like people come, I don't know when the schedules are, it just, everything just happens, right? <laughs> so that's that's the always the hardest part. Um, so I highly encourage everybody to do that. Yeah, and if you need ideas, you know, you can always bounce them off me or Hongyun, you know, we're always here to, um, you know, if you got something that you kind of like thinking about, you're not sure if it's a good idea, no problem, you know, we want to talk to you about it and help you get it figured out. Um, we can say, no, that's a terrible idea, maybe do this, or, oh, this is a good idea, maybe if you tweak it like this and this, it'll work, right? So I think that's a good, good way to go. Um, I would say like, Probably like homework for you guys is to go think about it and just think about like things that you are truly truly interested in um, that can interact with other people and you know it could be like hey I want to like you know I don't know do public art maybe that's a good thing to do since we've tried that and it seems to work quite well um, we've gotten um, like that mural we did at uh, Rainbow Park that was like a thing led by Girl Scouts and we were the ones kind of behind the scenes like kind of pushing them to go talk to San Jose and go get it all figured out. And they, they would always come and was like, I don't know, they told us this and I don't know what to do. I was like, okay, well, go tell them these things and you, <laughs> you have to figure out these things to tell them and go do that. And they would go do that, right? So it's a good experience for you to do that, right? Like we'll be here to like coach you guys. Um, so you don't have to be worried about like, you're gonna get in a dead end. As long as you're communicating, it's fine. And, and like you heard with Audrey, like the first time nobody showed up, it's normal, right? Like we do, <coughs> things happen like that all the time. First time you do something, no one's going to show up. It's just the way life is. Um, once the first person's brave enough to walk in the door, then more people will come. And more people will come, and then it turns into this thing, right? So it's just uh, just the way it is. Okay. Cool. So any other any questions, thoughts? How about ideas? Things that have been bothering you that you think you can help with. <laughs> Things, that, things on my mind, um, I want to do something with uh, public art that's always been on my mind, like more public art is good um, because it's a way for you to take everyday lives and make them into something just a little bit more special. So if you do something like interesting, you know, want to do something, I propose like painting the library like hot pink. <laughs> Oh, there's like this existing organization that goes around to hospitals, sure. retirement centers, Partner, yeah. yeah, and then they um, get them involved in a public art sure. mural, something Perfect. like that. Yeah, that's awesome. Like you can, you can, you can be the in between person to connect multiple things together. That's called an entrepreneur, right? <laughs> so you connect different things together. If you see like. Like a, you see like a resource here and a need here, and you're like, hey, let me put those things together. That's what an entrepreneur is. Um, it doesn't have to make money, but it, that's what thinking is. Like you see something, put them together, and you're the kind of the go-between for that, right? 
So I think it's um, just some homework for you guys to go think of stuff, send me emails, Tommy at onionart.com. If you have questions or thoughts or just like need help with something, you can help figure it out. And I, and I highly encourage everybody to just get out, um, go, go get no said to you a few times. It's important for you to learn how to do that, uh, to take it okay, because I think most of you guys are, it's, you've been said that people have been telling you like you're awesome, you get A's all the time, everything's great, the world's rosy, and then like by the time you get to like college and you go get your first job, you're like, hey, this is not right, I'm the best person on earth. <laughs> and then you gotta like, I want you to experience that a little bit and then be able to pick yourself up from it and then like go and do it again, right? Go and do it again, right? That's, that's, that's what truly being like a, a success is, being a freight train. Right, just like set yourself on a thing and just go figure it out. Right? Oh, there's this blog called Rejection Therapy where this guy um, does a oh, crazy, yeah, 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 where this guy does a, a crazy thing or like asks for something that he'll probably get said no to, yep. but he does it anyways. And yeah. he actually succeeds sometimes. Yeah. Yeah, and then they would be like, oh, um, asking if he can broadcast over the Costco intercom or asking yeah. if he can yeah. do the safety presentation on right. a plane and he learned to be really persistent like yeah. he learned to negotiate like in the beginning if he got said uh, he was said no a lot so most in the beginning he would just walk away from that but then he eventually learned that after B said no he would negotiate with them and ask them why not and that led to a lot of success later on in his project and eventually um yeah he said something along the lines of oh doing this rejection therapy taught me more about business and taught me more about uh communicating with people than my four years at college uh, pursuing a business degree so yeah it's really important to have these life experiences <laughs> do you guys have any more questions <laughs> Or ideas. So, okay. mm -hmm. so are there like some projects related to you know a mix of art and technology? Like somebody if he wants somebody wants to pursue a major like, in robotics. Yeah, that's actually a really good. That's actually a really good question. Um, this is a plug for what I'm trying out. Uh, yeah. It's called Creative Coding. Mm -hmm. It's an, actually a offshoot of like just programming on its own. Uh -huh. um, the purpose of Creative Coding is to create art, but through programming. So like using mm -hmm. your computer, not Photoshop, or not other software, but just like typing code in and having it do stuff. Um, I know some artists are sort of wary of that, like, oh, this is too complicated. I can't do this. Mm -hmm. um, I can tell you, you, if I can do it, you can do it. <laughs> you guys are way smarter than me. Like, I got like a 1080 on the SAT, okay? So you guys are definitely all smarter than me right now. Um, so if, if um, and then the way I'm gonna teach it at first is we're just gonna watch, like there's this, there's this um, new, uh, professor from NYU who created a, a language or like a, a library for uh, Java. It's called Processing and he, he, it's basically he created it for artists to use to code. Um, and it's very, actually quite simple. So it's super, super easy to use. Um, it has its own like self-contained thing. There's no like things to install or anything weird. It's just like you install this one thing and it just works. Um, and my purpose for doing that is to create something like akin to, um, there's a few years ago, there was like an art exhibit in Menlo Park. It was like all technological art type of stuff from these guys in Japan called Team Lab. Um, we've actually been to visit them uh, in Japan. Like we went, like one of the Myanmar trips, I just asked them like, hey, can we come visit you guys? We're really big fans. And, and you know, we're coming to Japan. We're gonna bring a bunch of kids. And they're like, sure, yeah, you can come visit us. They're like, wow, cool. <laughs> you know, that's, that's amazing, right? So we went there, we met the, like, the founder of Team Lab. He's just like really, outgoing guy you know we saw their workspace we saw like they have like 400 people that work for them that just yeah. create art um, through technology so they have a lab you know and so i was like oh i'm gonna do this with kids so it's like, <laughs> now that i see how you guys do it i'm like oh this is so easy like we can just do this with kids um my underlying goal is to create the art show in like large um, international art fairs eventually and get it sold and then we'll fund the school through that and hopefully the school will be free mm -hmm. or relatively close to free by people buying the art that we create. Mm -hmm. That's the master of the Whether that happens while, while, while you guys are still here, I don't know, but that's my goal. <laughs> is, uh, to basically make this place um, mostly free, funded by large corporations buying our art for their 
lobbies for their buildings for their whatever. Yeah, you must make for Yeah. Yeah, I mean that's you know um, that's one thing, and then like also like in retail venues, my theory is that they're gonna a lot of retail venues will change to be more experiential, so lining us up for that too. Um, so yeah, there's there's like that that whole side of like technology. Like if you're into like programming and like robots, I think I've talked to Trace about this a couple times. Um, you know, I am I used to work in tech, but I'm not definitely not up to the latest spec um, with. You know all the latest things going on, especially Java. Like I'm, I'm new to Jeff, I'm new to that. Um, I need help with that. So if you want to come teach that or you know help out with that, that's great. Um, we can talk and figure out how to do that. I'm actually talking to the Monta Vista Robotics team right now. Um, they have been kind of been picking their brains about what we can do. So we might have like a like like a little kid version to teach Scratch and but in a more like different fun way, and then have like leads into processing and creating large scale art. And, Interactive art, like things that move, and all this. So, like, there's a whole like thing that we want to do. Mm -hmm. Space constraints aside, you know, <laughs> once we have the space, then it's going to be like full steam ahead for that. So that's the goal that I have for that. Mm -hmm. Yeah, I want to make it like a, just a full fledged program that we do, mm -hmm. just like our you know, painting and drawing, yeah. and coding. Yeah. And, but it's like, yeah. but the goal is not to make like a game per se. It's not to make like. A, you know, like they usually have like, let's make an address book or you know, something like mm -hmm. more like that. It's like, hey, let's make like fireworks, so let's make something yeah. cool happen and um, let's tweak some variables and see what happens, right? That's that's all I'm trying to do with it. So and I hope like you guys I'm gonna I'm gonna send an email soon about mm -hmm. that. So we're gonna probably do like Veterans Day will be the first day. So bring your you know, we'll sign up, we'll have sign ups, bring your laptop and we'll have like a fun hopefully fun day, hopefully not too rocky day of doing that. Um, but that'll be fun. But from that, we could actually, once we learn how to make something, we could teach that to other people. That might be a cool thing to try. You know, maybe like underprivileged schools, you know, if they don't have technology programs, we can, you know, gather whatever we got, like device-wise, and go down. Mm -hmm. Everybody here has tons of devices, right? So we can go down and teach like a class and show them how to do this. Be a partner with them to build something for Maker Faire, maybe, or something. You know, like that might be fun. So. Yeah, there's all these things that I gotta do, but I only have two hands, so that's why I need you guys to help and bring your energy and creativity to do these things. Any other questions? Sherry is teaching um, art class to kids in China right now. So we're doing this thing. Yeah. <laughs> Whoa. Yeah, so Hong was like, hey, let's teach kids in China like art in English. And I was like, okay, sure. And so we. Wait, so she's teaching in English. She's teaching in English, right? So the point, <coughs> is, the point is English, okay? It's not to, you know, like for them to learn art per se, but mm -hmm. art is just the vehicle to have them start talking and have fun. And so we figured our classes are fun, our kids are fun. And let's try to do this. So we started last week with like two kids, and then like by Sunday we had like five kids. This week we had like thirty kids. Wow. Whoa! And but we were like, no, no, stop. We can only do five <laughs> kids at a time. <laughs> so there, everybody's taking turns, and we're just you're just trying it to see what what comes of it, and see like, do they like it? What do we need to do? Maybe there's a thing we can do around this. Maybe it's not just China. Maybe it's other places on Earth. Maybe it's everybody all together in one big room doing it. I don't know. So we're we're just trying out different things and seeing what. What comes with it? So, well, yeah, it looks like she's doing okay. <laughs> Got a little technical snafu. Yeah, but it's fun. We figured we just, you know, we have, we have like idle resources and things. We're like, let's try it and see what happens. You never know what comes with it. But yeah, maybe like you guys will be recruited to help teach kids in China too, which will be fun. I think. <laughs> you know, no such you know. You'll be perfect. Because <laughs> you don't speak any Chinese, so they can't, they have to like try to understand you. And the best thing is when, like, the, what we've tried is like, if they, you get stuck, you like switch to Google Translate and you type stuff in, and Google Translate gives you like the worst translation ever, yeah. and everybody on the other side just starts cracking up. And you're like, what? What the hell is going on? They love that. So it's, it's, it's great, right? It's like so fun. So it's, um, it's a fun way to, it's a fun way to, you know, interact and, um, the feedback we've gotten so far, it's like the absolute best class they've ever taken because it's um, fun and it's interactive. It's it's not formal. It's not like professor and teacher. It's just like kids talking and having a good time. And cultural things, great. Mm -hmm. So it's it's good. I think it's a good thing to do. But, um, yeah, I hope that that seems like it's going to be a fun big thing in the end. Yeah.
Need more space. <laughs> yeah. Cool. So, yes, have question. Like, have you guys like tried the contact being hospitals about like doing the craft with like insurance and stuff? I have not, and I want to do that. I seriously, seriously yeah. want to do that. Yeah, I, I know so there's, I um, good, like, I think that's really good, and I've been wanting to do that for a long time. I just need somebody to like do it. Yes, so, so if you, you should want do, to that. do that. Go talk to people. I mean, like, if you know people that work in a hospital, like, if you have family friends that My work, doctor works at talk to your doctor. <laughs> <laughs> your doctor works at the hospital, talk to your doctor and see what they think about it. Because I guarantee you, they're probably like, oh, you know what, you should talk to this person. They're the volunteer, blah, 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 blah. And you're like, oh, okay. And you'll just, like, maybe they'll call and say, hey, I got a kid coming to talk to you about something. It's like, oh, okay. Mm -hmm. And then that, that, even that, like, little introduction from the doctor to that person, <laughs> they'll be like, oh, the doctor wants me to talk to this person. I should talk to this person. You know, it's, that's important. <laughs> no, it, it's true. Like, people, like, are very yeah. deferential okay. to doctors. Yeah, so they... <laughs> They're very learned people, so you gotta respect them. Learned people. <laughs> they are. <laughs> message them. Message them on yeah. your happy thing. Do they have happy thing? So I'm taking a blood test tomorrow, but I don't know how to talk to those people. <laughs> just go stop by the office if you're in the same building. Yeah, that's fine. I, I, I highly encourage you guys just random bouncing off the walls of from people and just injecting like questions into people's brains is not is not harmful. It's good. Like you just ask questions. You know, like me, I just say be dumb. Like I'm, I'm dumb. I just ask you a question. Like, can I do this? And then, is that a good idea? And I want to do this. And they're like, well, maybe I don't know. It's like, okay, sure. Like, something happens when you make from that. Like you're not, you're not trying to impose your will on something. You, you're just trying to learn from something and create something. That's all you're trying to do. So. Right. Don't worry about the problems. Don't worry about the problems. Always, always worry about the the thing that gets you there, and then you can worry about the little things afterwards. But we, we tend to focus on the oh, like this is gonna be not work because um, my shoes are purple. <laughs> it's not gonna work. It's like I couldn't possibly buy new shoes or anything. You know. You know what I mean? Like, you, you gotta, like, just, just forget about that. Just tell me, like, what does it get me to get, like, a room in the hospital with kids, um, you know, who are bored out of their mind, like, that live at the hospital because they have long-term illnesses that, and then we can come help. What, is it, what does it take for me to get that? What do, what do I do? And then they'll be like, oh, you gotta fill out these papers and everybody's gotta get all tested and blah, blah, blah. Great, give me, give me the list, I'll do it, right? That's what you want. You want the, how do I get to yes? Not like, don't don't stop yourself, right? That's like, on the way, like, just try stuff, right? Let's just try, I mean, I'm, I'm actually like you guys. I mean, I'm an engineer, I'm like you guys. Like, where I think like, oh man, this is gonna be bad if we do this, like, some tiny details not gonna work, blah, blah, blah. She's like, no, 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 just do it. <laughs> it's like, well, what if this, just do it first, and then you figure out. It's like, okay. And it usually works, right? You know, like, I was against the TA program first. <laughs> yeah, she was like, oh, we're going to put kids in, we're going to have to teach the other kids. I was like, oh, how does that work? Like, Don't worry, it'll be fine. <laughs> Are you sure? It's like, okay, whatever, you can figure it out, I don't know. Like, I, I had no idea, right? And she's like, yeah, it'll work, I know it'll work. Like, okay, and she did it, right? So that's why everybody's here. Yeah. Okay. Cool. Thank you. Good meeting, you guys. So go do homework. Go talk about stuff. Um, give you a deadline. Veterans Day. Send me an email about some ideas. At least one. Doesn't have to be fully baked. It can be like, I want to put unicorns on top of the library. Great. We'll figure it out. <laughs> <laughs> public art, right? Yeah. Yeah. They like our public art so far. So maybe there's something more that we can do that's a little crazier that puts us on the map, right? Maybe the mayor Cupertino wants to be put on the map, like the guy who's, you know, Gung ho about like mm. avant garde stuff in the <laughs> city. Like, you don't know who's. Yeah. I want to put Mindy on top of City Hall. <laughs> Maybe there's a way to do it. I don't know. But think, think about these things where it's like something even like off the wall crazy, it, it might work or it might work in a modified form. It doesn't have to be like something conservative. It can be something just way out there. It's fine. We can do it. Okay? Cool, guys? All right, and thank you. Audrey. Thank you. Thank you. Cool. All right. I think you're waiting to go home. If you see your parents, um, like Janet, your dad's here. You can go home. Here. You can go home. So do the residents sign up or get them to everybody? Um, they just walk in. <laughs> so, but you have a set time. Yeah. 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 yeah.